Once inside Google Classroom, select your class and let's take a look at the assignments we have to complete. When we click on Classwork, this teacher has decided to put them in under dates. So we can tell we have four assignments due under the date May 19th. So I'm going to take a look at the first assignment by clicking on Type a Report That's Due. So again, get in the habit of always hitting View Assignment. That way it expands up so you can see all the files and links and things that the teacher has given you. On here it says, remember the typing report we kept all year. It is now time to turn it in. This file is located in your Google Drive. You will need to add this assignment here and turn in your work. So notice there's nothing to click on. There's nothing to um, use from the teacher. She's telling you that you have to click on Add or Create. So we're going to click on Add. It's telling me my work's in my Google Drive. So I would go to my Google Drive. I would locate my typing report, and that is going to be found in my Google Drive. So Recent's going to show you the most recent activity that you have done. Um, if you don't see it right away, you can click on my drive to be able to get to the file that you need to get to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the name of my file, and then it'll say insert. So then that file will be put up here, and all I have to do now is hit turn in. I will then go ahead and hit turn in again. And this will show that my work is done because it has said marked as it says marked turned in. So if I hit my back arrow, sometimes you have to hit it more than once. Or if it doesn't work, just hit the three lines and go to the name of the class. And I go back to classwork. This time you'll notice that it says turned in. And the circle is grayed out. That is to tell you that your assignment is done. The next assignment here. Again, hit View Assignment to see all the details. It says you'll be using Google Docs to prepare and use proper format to write a letter to a classmate. So again, I have nothing from the teacher other than directions. So I have to go to Add and Create. And I'm not adding anything, I am creating. And it told me I'm using Google Docs. So I click on Google Docs, and it'll go out and create the file for me. All I have to do once it's create is to go ahead and click on it and open it up. I'll go ahead and click on that file and this is where I will type my letter. As soon as my letter is complete I would simply go back to that tab and I would hit turn in and my work would get turned in with the teacher. Hit turn in again and now that letter is complete. So sometimes assignments will require you to add and submit work. So sometimes you have to get it from your drive because it's already done and you just have to bring it into Google Classroom. Other times you have to create it as a new document. And you can use a Google Doc, a Slides, a Drawing, um, and Sheets. Now sometimes things get messed up. Let's say you turn something in and you didn't finish it. So you have to hit Unsubmit unsubmit again and now the file will be opened so that you are able to then click back on it and finish adding whatever you may have forgotten. So I can go ahead and finish adding whatever I missed and, and get it com fully completed. But the thing is that you have to remember is that you have to go back to Google Classroom and you have to go back and hit turn in in order for the work to go back to the teacher. Because if you unsubmit it, the teacher no longer has it. Now there are two other ways that you can get work assigned to you, and sometimes there are files attached. So I'm going down to the third assignment, which is a goodbye video. Again, I'm going to hit View Assignment. And here I'm supposed to watch this video. So I simply click on the link. I'll go ahead and watch the video. And as soon as the video is done, I then will come back to Google Classroom and there isn't going to be a turn in button, there's going to be a mark is done button. Because there's no work to give back to the teacher, so the wording is different. They're not turning something in, they're just marking it done so that the teacher knows that they have completed that assignment. And again, it says turned in. One last way is that an assignment 
is given to you and there's a file attached to it that you have to complete. And that is a file that the teacher gave you. So again, I'm going to click on view assignment. And here I have directions. I have a video I'm supposed to watch to know how to complete the assignment and an assignment is given to me. So this is the work I need to do. So I don't have to go out to Google Drive to find it. I don't have to add or create it. The teacher already gave it to me. So I simply click on it. I open it up and I complete it based off of what the video has taught me to do. Again, when I am done, I simply will come back here and I will hit turn in. Now notice up here it says that it's missing. That's because this work was due on this date back here. So I can still turn it in, but when I finish turning it in, it's going to tell me that it was turned in late. And that's just because you turned it in past the due date. If I return back to the screen where my assignments are, you can see the ones that are completed because they're grayed out and the ones that are blue are still assignments I need to complete.